in a few little bit you're going to be seeing a video of me on your screen and this video of me is going to be on mute and what it is is a recording of me as I watch another recording of me from 2008 so to rephrase this audio you're hearing is me talking about a recording of me and in that recording I'm watching another recording of myself from 2008 I want to add that I noticed that since I knew I was recording myself that my behaviors were a little bit less extreme than what they were in situations like this when I was not being watched because I knew I was being watched because I turned on the camera so I noticed my behavior changed a little bit but I think so, I'm expressive enough that I think some valid points can be made so let us begin play I'm very uncomfortable my eyes are very fidgety because I don't want to sit and look at myself because the judgments are so compounded and I'm so disgusted and ashamed and afraid that shake of the head is me trying to snap myself out of it like separation because I believe that one part of me has to change the concentration of another part so that I'm able to do this my eyes keep diverting to the right I don't want to look at the screen so I'm looking away towards my right that's like my strong side is my right Self-judgment is the lips sucking in my lips. Protecting the sensitive nerve endings. Closing my eyes, focus tool. Protecting the sensitive nerve endings from the dangerous outside world where all the judgment is. Because there's no judgment in here. I was surprised to find myself laughing because I was so used to the judgment. Yeah, see how I shut it down? I was so used to the judgment and the shame and the emotional reactions that I was surprised to find myself uh, thinking that I was funny. Breathing in, focus tool. Blinking, focus tool. That right there, pause. That facial expression is very strange thing. It's like um, a complete glitchy alternate personality coming to the surface where I'm trying to just make things so strange and make what I'm seeing become so strange and so funky that it never again has to be a part of me because it's so far away it, it's like me trying to see just how much I can just how weird I can make it so that I can be different notice that it's, it's, it's the right side of my face that is reacting I, I'm, I'm trying to make that facial expression now I don't think I can do it I can raise the left eyebrow but not the right like that so that's interesting so here I'm trying to split myself from myself like big time play heads moving down I'm looking down on myself right there pause uh, right shoulder lock the right shoulder uh, it's like leaning against the desk in front of me like strength and just like boom like, look at how strong and supported I am um, like I'm frowning like and looking at it from like with my face away as if I don't want to get too close to it close to it my head down like I'm looking down on it And this makes me like more upset with it because I'm looking down on it and it, it's still there so I frown more, getting more upset because trying to make it bad doesn't make it any better. And right there that deep frown is like, ah, oh, damn it, fuck. So I just make it worse and worse and worse and then it, it's like a punch in the gut. 
because I just make it that bad because I'm I'm judging it to be that. And then here I try to frown again and release. That second time I tried to frown is me going back down the same path I just went through. And so I release it and now uh, touch the hand. No emotions in touching my hand. Maybe I can escape into this because let me look at my fingers and focus on this and disassociate with the state of mind I was just in. Which is trying to avoid it. So I go back to that state of mind and touch the finger like self-support, which is like touching, breathing. Not like using it as a distraction, but, um, you know, just deal with it. Prove to myself that I can deal with it. There's the uh, deep frown again. That's like a really, really deep stomach frown. Deep frown, look away, go back to distracting myself with that deep frown. That's not the same frown as earlier, The That's like really unpleasant shit. Look back, now that I have a secure state of mind, make the fist, which is like, focus, I'm strong enough to do this. I've distracted myself, now I can be a strong man and do this shit. But denial doesn't work, and it's like swallowing bad fruit when I see it. So that facial expression... I think we see more of that in a little bit. Blinking because I'm like trying to, my mind is like getting sleepy. It's like shutting down because I don't like this. So it's like, I want to go to sleep, so I blink because I'm snapping back in. And there's that facial expression where I'm trying to, like, retreat into myself. Ugh, God damn it! I can't believe I'm like this. I'm, like, obsessing about it. Breathe in because I can't really avoid seeing what I'm doing, so I might as well do something about it. When it gets that bad, it's, like, the best time to do something about it. Looking down, trying to, you know, focus and be condescending in my state of mind towards myself like that opening my hand is like me trying to focus and stabilize the state of mind where I'm looking down on me breathe in let go look away because I don't like it I'm trying to be too good for it, and I've already kind of like made up my mind at this point. So look down, this is bad, I'm not good enough. What have I done? It's like my, it's like my laughing about a prank that I pulled, like my evil laugh. But I've already made up my mind, so look down. Look away, glance back. Bad fruit. I've like locked myself into that mentality that you watched me set up. Bad fruit again. It's over. Touch the neck, shame. Touch the shoulder, strength. See how I got up and like, it was all like okay after it was over. <sighs> yep. Yep.